Welcome back to Sussex EVs. This time in part three of a short series at the London, Brighton and Geneva Rally, we speak to Ben MacDonald about the spectacular Microlino. David started by asking Ben for his impressions of the car. It's fantastic. It's it's one of those vehicles that is joyful. It uh, drives a little bit like a go-kart. There's no power assistance in terms of the steering or the brakes, so it, it, it's quite visceral in, in the best possible way. And I think the other thing that it, it does do is it creates a sense of joy and there's there's something really infectious about it you know when you're driving people are smiling at you and you smile back at them and then it creates this lovely virtuous circle it's very eye-catching so i can imagine it turns a lot of heads in a, in a city street so a city would be the ideal environment for a, a car like this easy to park i'm assuming it's, it's very easy to park i think one of the things that obviously certainly living in london parking can be a little bit of a, a, a trauma at times. Um, you do have the ability to cross park this in some bays, so it means that you can kind of park nose in and then open the door and get out the front onto the pavement. Obviously you'd prefer to do that behind a big huge ugly SUV so that the bum doesn't stick out too much. Absolutely, parking's joyful. I've never had a problem parking. There's a, a few opportunities sometimes for getting really cheap parking, so if you use Source London and I probably shouldn't say this because um, I might end up doing myself out of some cheap parking. Because it charges relatively slowly and Source bundle the parking in with the charging, you can get very, very cheap parking in central London. Oops, don't tell anyone. Are we going to see lots of these Macrolinos on, on British roads yeah, very so, soon? So the plan is to, to start selling them next month in July. Uh, they're initially going to be sold through a dealership called Crazy Horse, which normally sells big Americana. But the idea is that they sell vehicles that are fun. I think that's the way you see it. So this this is possibly even a little bit of their gateway drug into the, uh, the EV world. I know they've sold some electric motorcycles in the times past, um, but certainly that's how it's going to start off initially. There will be some branded Microlino dealerships coming up soon, possibly one in Kensington and a few others across the, the country, ideally. So, yeah. Any rough idea on, on prices? Yeah, the price point for the, the version that does 56 miles an hour and has about a 100 mile range is approximately 22,000. So it is, it is a slightly more premium product than perhaps you might look for in terms of small mobility. So if it's not compared, you don't compare this to the Citroen Ami. It's, it's a different market that we're going for. You'd imagine that someone who, who drives this might be more likely to have a Birkin handbag rather than some sort of knockoff from the market. But it's, I think the advantage is, is it's incredibly cheap to run once you have it. So I used about uh, six, I guess, six kilowatt hours getting down here and charging at 7p, you know, six sevens, probably 2p, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing. So. Are there any special sort of weight saving features on it? I guess keeping the weight low is an important factor. Yeah, so this weighs about 615 kilograms. So obviously things such as say the, if you want to adjust the mirrors, it's just open the window and poke them. So there's no servo motors to do all those things. There's no assistance in terms of the brake, but it doesn't need it. You know, it's like Colin Chapman said, well, there's simplicity and just add lightness. And it's, it's that same thing which leads to, to the, allowing it to be that weight because you just don't need any assistance with it. Is the bodywork is a special type of plastic or? No, it's uh, aluminium uh, on a steel monocoque, so it's a, a proper, a proper, you know, automotive chassis. So it's 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 in a good. I think the front panel's steel, if I recall, and it's got a little crash bar along the front. So the thing just occurred to me is the the end cap Euro type safety ratings. It probably hasn't been tested for that. It doesn't need to because it's a, a quadricycle. They don't need to do the, do that safety testing. Obviously, that would be of concern to some people but the, the point is the comparison for this vehicle isn't going to be your typical car you know the use case is different so your, your comparison for this would be a, a scooter it's a different proposition so you know as far as I'm concerned it, it feels very safe I, I feel comfortable driving at 50 miles an hour on an A road I prefer to be on this in a crash than I would on my motorcycle because of the nature of it it has to be quite stiffly sprung just to make sure that you maintain traction so Ben, I'm very grateful for your time today. Um, any final words for Sussex EV drivers about the, the Microlino? I think you just need to right size our vehicles. We've got too many big, big vehicles out there. They fundamentally, you know, thanks to physics, a, a big EV uses a lot more energy than a small EV. Um, so ultimately we need to go for things that are correct. This makes roads better for so many people. If we, we think about other road users, like whether they be pedestrians or cyclists, I think one of the, the things that I've really found is that there's some non-verbal communication that takes place between you 
and a cyclist or you and a pedestrian crossing, which is so much easier in this that you don't get in some of these other vehicles. You know, you, you can't see the whites of someone's eyes. So it does mean driving around the city is, is, is so much more, more enjoyable. Non-threatening, I guess, is how exactly. the car would be perceived. Exactly. It, it makes people smile and that's, that, that's the beauty of it. That's so, really good news. We, yeah. need, we need plenty of that. Yes, uh, I agree, especially in this world. <laughs> thanks again, Ben. Pleasure. The best. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Many thanks to Ben for spending some time with us and the wonderful Microlino. Join us next time when we talk to Phil from BYD. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you all on the next episode.